Is it bogus or is it excellent? Find out now with my official review of... So now you open my eyes. Bill and Ted Face the Music. What can you say about this movie but what you might think based on your preconceived nation or notion, I should say, to the first two movies? Were they excellent? Most definitely. Were there bogus moments? Most definitely. Is this a Oscar winning movie? No. Will the general public at a young age get it? Probably not. Why? This movie is a family movie. I feel like it's one of those that someone at my age might share with their kids if they were young. But at the same time, I would make sure they've seen Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. This is a fanfare. If you liked Excellent Adventure, if you liked Bogus Journey, you're gonna like this. It's a mixture of both Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. It's a cornucopia of certs where it takes elements of both the first movie and the last movie that we loved and put it into one comprehensive ending that was well deserved with their children as a major part of this movie you really kind of have to uh, cothetically understand that this is something that i felt like they needed when it came to the kids because it's down to earth a family movie that you'd watch for your kids it's one of those movies we need now. And the reason I say that is because things are stressful. Things are bad. Things are not happy. We are in quarantine. We are in a slum. And one thing that has been universal, and it was really pointed out in Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. And that is, music brings us together. That's what happens in this movie. Music brings us together. But in order to get to that point, we have to face the music. And what music is that? Well, that's what this movie does. It basically goes down to what you have to face when it comes to facing the music in life and everything. But at the same time, not feeling like you're alone in the situation. It's absurd. It's crazy absurd. Just like Bogus Journey. Just like an excellent adventure. But that's, honestly, if this was to try to go on the straight and narrow path, I think it would not work as a movie. If you're expecting this to be a absurdly normal movie, then why the heck are you a fan of Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey? Bill and Ted Face the Music is just a cap end to what makes the trilogy so great, and it could even possibly open doors for further movies in other ways branching off whatever it may be how do i explain that it's hard to explain without really going into detail about the movie itself but at the same point it's an end cap it's basically like we can just end it here and everything is fine and that's exactly what it needed bogus journey had that same ending but at the same time this felt like it was more of an ending than bogus journey actually was bogus journey felt a little more capped end than this and a lot of people say they like bogus journey better than excellent venture and some people like excellent venture better than bogus journey but comprehensively i think putting those two together is what you get when you get face the music you get bogus journey and excellent venture the absurdity of bogus journey is in this the heartwarming slash education that you get from excellent adventure and i mean education you understand what i mean by education from excellent adventure that's put into this but what makes this movie so great is that both characters of keanu reeves and um alex winter come together again and at first when i started watching it, it was really weird to see keanu reeves go back into this part you're just so used to him being John Wick and all these other characters. But now, I'm I, I like once I got, I would say, 30 minutes in the movie, I totally forgot that when I was watching Keanu Reeves, I literally had thought I was watching Ted from Bill and Ted. So, bravo. Bravo to Keanu Reeves. Bravo to Alex Winter for putting something together that was most excellent. If they're older now, they're having to be adults, but at the same time, they have the mental state of what they were younger. 
I think they just understand it a little bit better because they have to. They're forced to. But at the same time, it's like they they still have the mannerisms that they always had when they were in the first two movies. And that's most excellent. Don't change it. I don't want that gone. But what makes it a little bit bogus is that I've gotten older now. And I, I, I know what the, the craziness of it is. And I really enjoyed it. And it made me have really, really nostalgic feels. But what happens in this is it's like one of those trick, one trick pony situations. I love going back and watching Excellent Adventure. I love going back to Bogus Journey. I love those movies. When I go back, it's one of those things where I can watch it again for nostalgia feels. But it's not addictively showing for someone like myself. But if you are one of those that can constantly go back to Excellent Adventure or Bogus Journey, then Face the Music is right up your alley. Because it's basically... Combine those two to end things nicely. And it is about music, guys. Just like the other movies were. But way more is it music in this movie. Again, they always had music in both of the other two movies. And this is the same way with this. So, what do I think? I think it's most excellent. Not a bogus journey. An excellent adventure. Would I suggest it for somebody that's never seen the franchise? Nah, I wouldn't. And that's not because I'm saying it's bad. It's just not understandable. You, you're you not going to really feel the f humor as much in a lot of parts um, and understand the absurdity of this movie. Now, there are some form funny parts I feel I recognize and some nostalgia feels I'm going to go into on the spoiler part. Yes, we are going to have a spoiler part of this. So I'm not. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And, and with that, spoiler warning. Ahead, ladies and gentlemen, I will be spoiling parts of the movie. I will be going through little clips of the movie and talking about scenes that I love and what I think is special in my eyes about this movie. So if you do not want to be spoiled, stop the video now, go watch the movie, and then come back and we'll talk about spoilers in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys think. So spoiler warning, stop the video now. Unless you've seen the movie, then stick around. We're about to have some fun. All right, here we are at the spoilers part. And of course, I'm going to go into the first spoiler, which was probably the biggest um, biggest thing to really hit my heartstrings when it came to this movie. Um, if you're not aware, um, of course, George Carlin passed away. He's a fantastic stand-up comedian. If you've never seen his work, please go look. Uh, his, his, the, the, the seven, is it seven um, uh, swear words you can't say. I can't remember what it is, but it's so great. But he played Rufus in the original Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey, but he unfortunately passed away. So um, I think it's Kristen Sweeney is the one that plays the part of uh, his daughter in this movie. But of course, um, they had to put a tribute to him. And the way they did it in my eyes was just so beautifully done. And if anything is going to give me a copyright, it most definitely will be this. And I will gladly take this small dose of it. In honor of George Carlin. So let's look at this scene again in case you haven't seen it. And then the rest will just be steel. So let's enjoy it. Shall we? Rufus. Greetings, my excellent friend. How can you not help but love seeing this? And they couldn't do it. The first time you actually see the phone booth in this movie is with Rufus inside of it walking out. Honestly, I felt like maybe both Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves said, if we're going to do this, we have to make sure the first time you see that phone booth that you see Rufus. And it's, it's kind of heartwarming to sit there and think that, you know, the first time we did see the mailbox was with Rufus in the first Excellent Adventure. Why not end it with seeing the first phone booth in the last movie with Rufus coming out of it? And I'm not going to lie, it's still everything else in here is really heartwarming, but this is one of the ones that makes me go, oh, Fuck, man. God, that hits my heartstrings. I know, no, I cussed. I, I had to cuss. You know, it's just, that's beautiful. But let's continue with some of the great stuff they did. The one thing I did want to point out was the uh, relationship between B and T, a.k.a. Bill and Ted's daughters, Bill and Ted. Um, they did a phenomenal job of actually playing these characters, as you see yourself. And I love that they went and go pick up the, the musicians or anything. I'm a huge Kid Cudi fan. I was so happy to see Kid Cudi involved in this. So I was so happy to see him as a part of the musicians and everything. And I love to see, well, you know, the part where the realization that their daughters are what make them write the music. And 
you know, to be very honest with you, this is probably a perfect timing for this movie to have this kind of nostalgia feel because the people, the kids that grew up watching this movie now have kids of their own. And I'm sure their kids inspire them for whatever they do in life, whether it be just to have an income in the house and things of that nature. So it's a perfect way to end it, to use the daughters. Because you got to think, there was them meeting the princesses in the first movie, then them having the children with the princesses in the second movie. So why not follow it up with the children being the reason why they are inspired to actually originally, originally make the music that saves the world. I think it's heartwarming, you know. Um, also, one thing about I, I loved, and if you guys don't get I'm explaining to it. Let's go to Kid Cudi, a.k.a. Station. Station. And if you don't remember what Station is, well, let me remind you, shall we? Station is the characters from Bogus Journey, the two little aliens that combine to make the one big-ass alien. So apparently Kid Cudi is the two aliens? I'm not sure, but it's awesome to see, guys. And with that, that is my official review of Bill and Ted Face the Music. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed just the slightest of spoilers that we did about the stuff I did like in it. If there was something in there that you liked, make sure you go ahead and tell me in the comments below, guys. And um, what movie should I review next? Uh, hopefully I'll get to get, go to New Mutants. Maybe I'll review an old movie if you guys enjoyed this. Comment below. Maybe there's a movie you guys can tell me to review and I'll happily review it on the channel. Maybe have a little fun with it. We'll see. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. Again, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. And as always, I am Putty Man with Gamer Potheads. And do not forget, we're all about the high score. Be excellent to one another and party on, dudes.